a nice day. I want to take a break from working on the truck. Let's work on this piece of crap. Yikes. So basically this video I think is just going to be bits and pieces of what we're fixing. So first things we're going to do today, we're going to replace this radiator isolator bushing, which I think is just bad from vibration because these things shake a bunch. And this is a clutch anti-rotation guy. I don't know exactly what you want to call it, some kind of like turnbuckle almost. So. It just keeps the clutch from torquing up. And as you can see, the old one is shot. So we're gonna replace that. So right here at the bottom of this weldment for the right side drive motor, that's the crack, it's all the way through. So I think what I'm gonna do is get in there with like a uh, deburring or like an end mill type bit and then try and clamp it together and then just fucking weld her out. Not the prettiest by any means, kind of a weird spot to try and get into, but should do just fine. Figured at some point I'm probably gonna want lights on this thing, so I got some lights. Um, they are United Pacific. I got them from Rainey's Truck Parts. That's the item number. Um, I didn't wanna just use regular like Amazon pods because I think they look kind of crappy. These have a little bit more of like a agricultural type look, almost like the lights that you used to see on like defenders of farm tractors and stuff. So I haven't decided where they're gonna go probably gonna wind up somewhere like there. Um, my only concern is that it's kind of susceptible to getting caught on something. So we're gonna look at some options, but yeah, lights for the mower. Here's the completed uh, mount brackets for the lights. So they're gonna go like this on the wraps bar, the light bolts in here, and then there's a hole in the bottom for a grommet. Um, basically just gonna weld them on and wire up the lights. Well, I got them on there. Pretty pleased with how they look. Um, measured a couple different ways, a couple different times to match them as close as possible side to side. <clears throat> Brackets came out good. Just weld them right on. 
So still have to wire them up and then aim them. Um, I read online that depending on where they're positioned, they can cast <clears throat> a pretty big shadow over the operator. And I don't really intend to mow at night all that often. Um, if anything, these will probably be used as utility lights, you know, if I'm out working in the backyard or something like that. So I don't really care so much about the shadows. Um, like I said, they're more of a backup than anything. But anyway, just got to get them wired up, throw a couple switches on the control panel over there. Um, I might do some sort of reverse light. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Um, I have to go pick up my new hinge for the um, belt cover tomorrow, throw that on. So we shall see. But as always, we're just chipping away at little stuff on this thing, getting it ready for grass cutting season, which can't come soon enough. Okay, so we got everything in the woven loom, taped up, ran it down through the rops bar with a grommet. Uh, this side, I put my uh, butt connector a little bit too high, so it sticks out a little bit more. But anyway, so those come out the bottom. The pasture side one is longer, so it can come over here. They're gonna meet together somewhere. I'm gonna put the switch on the control panel here and get everything wired up. So we'll check back in when that's done. So I got the last of the wiring all buttoned up. Got my switch installed. We got light. Uh, it's wired to battery power instead of key on power. Um, hopefully I don't forget to leave them on. Hopefully it would be pretty obvious to know if I left them on.
So we've been mowing now for a couple weeks. Uh, it's mid-May, time of recording this. And um, I've gotten a chance to put some hours on this thing and really kind of get used to running it. Um, and uh, it is every bit the machine that I expected it to be, which is really cool. I'm, I'm actually really pleased with this thing. Um, one thing that's kind of characteristic of turf tigers, at least in my experience, is they are obviously heavy, they're well built, everything like that, but they do lack some degree of creature comfort and, uh, I don't know, just ergonomics. So, you know, like the suspension on the seat is shot, you know, nothing you can really do about that, but just the, uh, the operator input required on the bars is a little bit more than uh, some other brands of machines that I've run. Um, it's just, you almost kind of have to approach it like a tractor. Like it is definitely much more um, of a, uh, a brute force piece of equipment than it is a um, like a precision tool. But the, the thing cuts phenomenal. I haven't even done anything to the deck. I, I didn't level it. I didn't sharpen the blades, nothing. Um, and it cuts really as good as I could ever ask it to cut. Um, starts right up, uh, doesn't seem to use any oil. Um, runs at temp, doesn't overheat, hydraulics are strong, um, really no complaints. And, uh, you know, as far as, you know, what can you expect for, you know, a $3,500 commercial machine? I think I did pretty damn well on it. And if I have to keep, you know, doing little things to it here and there, then so be it. But, uh, it's held every hill that I've put it on. It's cut every blade of grass that I've put in front of it, no matter how tall it is. And the thing just keeps on chugging. So really pleased with it um hope you guys enjoyed this style of video just with the kind of little clips uh strung together as far as all the little things i did to it i'm hoping um once we get some grass down here in my neighbor's house uh, we might have some actual nice stuff to cut uh, my grass at home is all right it's not great um as you saw in the video it stripes all right so Hopefully at some point this summer, we'll get a video of this thing actually working in a more challenging environment. So that's gonna do it for this one. Um, and I guess we'll just kind of keep cutting with this thing here and there, and you'll probably see a video of it sometime later this summer. So as always, thanks for watching.